Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabta fi Allah Islam calls us to kullu khair. Islam calls us to kullu khair. And Islam prohibits us, prohibits us from kullu sharr, from everything which is evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us with the good and forbade us from the evil. And from the evil deeds in which we find ourselves immersed in is backbiting, is harming the honor of one another. And this is why we often find people speaking without knowledge and belittling their Muslim brothers and sisters. And why, for you and I, it's imperative that we come back to Allah Azza wa Jal and we safeguard our tongue. As the Prophet Sallallahu mentioned that the tongue is one of the limbs which can have a person dragged into the hellfire. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in an authentic hadith was asked about the those things which would enter a person to paradise which is righteous and those things which would cause a person to be dragged into the hellfire su'ila nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam an akthari ma yudkhil an-nas al-jannah قال تقوى الله وحسن الخلق The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked about the thing that will enter the people into paradise uh, the most and he said اتقوى الله وحسن الخلق that a person fears Allah and they have good uh, righteous conduct. Wusu'ila an akthiri ma yurkhil an nas an nar qal faqal al thim wal faraj. And then he was asked about the thing that would cause people to enter into the hellfire the most, and he said, the tongue, you know, your mouth by speaking ill, sinful speech, and the private parts. So in this hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it shows us and it illustrates that and highlights that sinfulness, it comes from the tongue and the private parts. And if a person busies themselves with dhikr Allah azza wa jal, which is the righteous acts of the tongue, then they will be doing those deeds which help them and are a wasila and a means to get to Jannah. But if they persist in backbiting and sinfulness, then they will be doing those things which cause them to be thrown into the hellfire. So, therefore, when you speak, speak good. And when you hear wicked and sinful speech from people, avoid it and prohibit it if you have the ability. The Prophet said, "Men ra'a min kum munkarin fali ghayru hu biad, fa in lam yastati' fa bi lisanihi, fa in lam yastati' fa bi qalbihi, wa dalika adu fali man." Ruhu Muslim. The Prophet said, "If you see a munkar, something sinful, then change it with your 
hands. If you're unable to do so, then change it with your tongue. Speak out against it. And then if you're unable to do that, then change it with your heart. And that is the weakest form of Iman. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahli Iman. Wa Ahla Amr bi Maruf. Maruf. Wa Ahla Nahiyan al Munkar. Wa Sallallahu Alayhi Wasallam. Wa Sallallahu Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Ali wa Sahbihi Wasallam.